Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're going to be checking out a brand new tool from Jenga Effects. Now that name might sound familiar to you because I've covered them a couple of times in the past on this channel. I think I've actually covered all three of their major products in previous videos. So I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about each of them, but here we are. This is JangaEffects.com. As you can see, they are the masters of the elements and that makes sense in just a second. They have tools for fire, they have tools for earth, they have tools for water, and they, they well, well, they don't have one that blows. So we don't have an air one yet, but we do have a new tool here as well. So as you can see here, they're being used by Bethesda, Blizzard, Bungie, NVIDIA, Riot, Valve, Warner Brothers, Rebellion, Sega, and more. Now we've got a couple of different products here. We'll start with Fire, and that is this fellow right here. So this is a product called Embergen. This is all about doing fire simulations. Uh, it is blazingly fast. All of their tools are blazingly fast, by the way, and they all take a very similar node-based approach to the results. So this is for creating a volumetric fire, smoke, and simulation. So you can do fire, smoke, and explosions. You can export them out as VDP or basically point clouds, but you can also export them out as like uh, flipbook animations that can be used in real-time games, etc. So if you needed to create uh, explosion sprite sheets, etc., you could do that here. Also, again, you could create these full uh, fire simulations that you could export into a tool like Houdini or Unreal Engine, etc., and go from there. So that is the fire side of the equation. Next up, we have the water side of the equation. This is a product called Liquid Gen. Again, the same exact approach, uh, but this is for doing fluid or liquid simulations. Uh, Again, it's going to look very similar because they're all based on the same sort of programs. Again, can be exported for games and for film. Uh, this is one of those things you'd work into your existing pipeline to make things work. So that was Liquid Gen. And then the Earth side of things, this is the newish one or the newest of the ones other than today's topic. Uh, and this is called GeoGen. And this is basically for creating train and planets. Uh, Again, this one is the least developed of the three, but it uses, again, a node-based approach for creating these train maps. Uh, so if you need to create landscapes or procedural planets, etc., and again, once again, game ready. So those are their three products that we've got going on right now. And now we have a brand new one, the source of today's video, and that is called Illugen. I think it's going to be a play on Illusion, but Illugen is the new super weapon for VFX artists in game. So this one is aimed very much at game developers. Once again, entirely node driven in your construction. So what is this all about? Well, it is the world's first tool built specifically for generating assets for real-time VFX and tech artists. When making FX for games, we spend so much time bending film-centric tools to our current, uh, to our uh, unusual asset creation workflows. Visual effects are so important at conveying gameplay to players, we rarely get the direct tooling supported needed. Uh, we feel that that time has come and to give real-time FX artists the tools of their dream. So it is built to condense your workflow from 15 plus tools to a singular tool. No more need to use Photoshop, Houdini, Substance Designer, and After Effects just to create one effect. Native supports or will eventually, again, early on, uh, support workflows to generate just about any asset you would need in visual effects. Paired with significant advantage of Embergen and LiquidGen, uh, you won't want to use any other tool. So again, it is a cross between 2D and 3D work, and you can export it out in a number of game-ready formats, including square and non-square 2D textures, flipbooks, 3D meshes, flow maps, UV distortions, pivot baking, and mesh flux books. And if you want, you can go ahead and you can try this for free. Now, you may have noticed all across the board, there is pricing. This is commercial software. Uh, there is a two-week demo available. You can get their entire suite, the elemental suite here, for $449 for the first year, and then maintenance after that. Otherwise, each individual product is $299, and then $150 thereafter. And you'll see this one over here is $149, the one for terrain. So the Illugen is the one we're looking at today. I specifically am going to be checking out with just the 14-day trial if you want to go ahead and see what this is all about. When you first fire it up, you get a screen like what you see in front of you. Uh, and this kind of has a bunch of uh, tutorials and such to, to walk you through using their various different products, so Embergen, Geogen, etc. But what we're focusing on today is Illugen. So you can see here we got a number of different samples you could go from uh, and basically just pick one uh, and you go from there. So let's say, let's start with a simple fire effect. So I've already opened a couple of these up. We'll go ahead and we'll open up a stylized fire. So here you can see the fire over here. This is your 3D world preview of the effect. Here is your timeline. If you've done any animation anywhere, this is for traditional keyframes and for controlling the curves that handle things. Uh, again, we can preview our fire or flame effect over here. And then while that is playing, you're going to notice 
over here, the process that goes together to create it. So you got here texture being imported in, you select something, and then over here, uh, you've got the fire loop to motion vector PNG and so on, various different properties. Again, all of these things can be keyframed individually if you wish to add a keyframe, boom, and then you could set up and keyframe that value over time over here. And then you see here, all these nodes go together. So uh, we've got the import texture, merge the UVs, uh, and then grab the frames from it, uh, and then we go a color split, uh, add a directional motion blur on top, uh, a Kuwahara effect, edge detection effect, add a glow to it, and then ultimately you export it out. So in this case, it's exported out as a sprite sheet. No export, by the way, in the trial version, it seems. So you can export out individually. You can see the end results of the exports available over there. And then here you can see the renderer that is being shown in action over here. It is a composition of all these various different aspects working together, which, by the way, can then again dra be dragged out into a viewport export if you wished as well. On top of that, we have a number, a ton of different nodes to work with across the board as we were going through it. So that gives you an idea of how you create these VFX effects. So let's go back over here and we're going to show you a different example. And this one is showing you where 3D and 2D come together. So that was just a simple frame by frame flame effect uh, that used a, uh, a rendered flame effect. I'm assuming from Embergen that they ultimately did it. But here's another one. This one here is created uh, basically an animated waterfall. So you can see how you could obviously would use something like this in a game. And you can see uh, where they're, how they're created. So the fractal pattern that goes together to create them, the UV effects, directional blur, tiling, levels, transformation, blend, and you can actually see it animated as it goes through over here. Color ramping up it, normal map creation on top of that, and then rendered out the albedo, normal, roughness, uh, alpha, and then geometry. There is another aspect. So you can see here, we have this geometry node over here, and this is forming the actual shape that this texture is being applied on. So this is actually being created uh, using a geo sweep node, uh, which has uh, this this curve as an input. So if I want, so you see here, main properties of it there. Again, everything is keyframable, so you can animate every single aspect of this. And then an extrusion path, you can configure out that works and then have the topology, how this is ultimately rendered. Uh, and then here you can see I can actually manipulate that. So this isn't just for creating those 2D effects. You also have 3D works in here as well, which is very cool. Uh, and let's do another, here's a different 3D example. So this is, uh, hurricane. Again, there is the node network that goes together to create this effect. And let's go ahead and play it. So you see a mix of 2D and 3D working together. So you can see how you can use this to create a variety of different uh, results that you'd want to use in a game. And then you can export these things out. So uh, in the previous one, okay, I'll go back to it. So in the previous one with this waterfall, for example, uh, you can do this here, export out the model, and here you're exporting it out as an FBX file. So that could then be ready to drop in your game, OBJ or FBX. Uh, so you can actually create 3D assets directly for your game here. Obviously, in the more 2D oriented one, you can have it create a uh, image sequence, for example. So let's go check out uh, another one here. So let's pick this guy up instead. Oh, no, I think this one was problematic. Let me see. Let's grab, let's grab the output. Yeah, that one might be problematic. Let's just leave that one alone for a second. We'll go ahead and look at here. So this has a bunch of different flame effects. So like you can see right there. So it's creating each one of these individual frames. And let's go back over here. So you can see there is the, the results being generated. Again, you can flip through each one of these. And then this one shows you export out multiple uh, RGB values. And here you're gonna basically say where to put them, export them out, and then there'll be a sequence of 16 or 8-bit PNG files. And then you click export now and out they go. Again, trial does not actually have that functionality enabled. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is new Illugen, again, uh, new to the Django FX suite of products. Uh, it is all about VFX aimed specifically for game artists. Uh, if you don't like nodes, you're not going to like this, but nodes are slowly taking over the world. It'd be interesting to see what this ultimately evolves into. Oh, and I guess I should have mentioned this very early on, uh, but of course I didn't. Uh, you can actually go ahead and download these things for Windows, Linux, and Mac, which is very nice. Basically, everything out there, you can download for it. So you can see here, July 27th was when this first version was released. Uh, so 
that was just uh, last weekend that this came out. So a uh, brand new, plus they had like one of their service providers went down, so they had some licensing and sales issues for a little bit there. Uh, I do believe that is all resolved. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the new Illugen from Jenga Effects joining Ember Gen, Liquid Gen, and GeoGen in their product suite. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.